Good afternoon, Lace Jumpin'. I'm John. This is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Morrowind. Where last time we made our way here to Pelagia, though uh, arguably more importantly, with the benefit of hindsight, yes, we had our ass handed to us uh, like several times. Moseyed into a cavern north of Satanina, had my ass handed to me. Went down to, yes, a small bandit cave and nearby to the river here, had my ass handed to me again. So, uh, right, that you know, uh, maybe something a tiny bit concerning that we might want to be looking into today. Like, I need to start coming up with a plan to get stronger. Because uh, if I can't be taking out basic bandits in caves around the starting area, we're going to start running into, you know, uh, bigger problems uh, sooner rather than later. So, uh, Okay, I've got a couple of theories as to, uh, yes, what might be going on here. Thus beginning Operation uh, trying to figure out why John sucks at Morrowind, and uh, it might just be uh, on level 1. You're kind of supposed to suck at level 1. That's what being a level 1 is all about. So, uh, okay, in which case, just, you know, uh, level up over time. Every time I level up, you get stronger, you pick up more health, etc, etc. So, uh, that there, that's a workable theory. But theory two is the one that's maybe a bit more troubling to me, which is, uh, yes, had I been, you know, an orc that was uh, all about physical stuff, I'd probably be really good at fighting right now. Alternatively, had I played as uh, a Breton or a High Elf who is uh, very much focused on magic, I'd probably be killing everyone with my amazing spells. But I decided to, you know, be half and half. And as a result, I'm not amazing at either. So, uh, right. Based on that possibility, I've got a plan. I need to make my way to a mages guild so I can, you know, uh, learn some more powerful spells and also locate some trainers uh, who can get, yes, my various magical abilities and moving in the right direction. So, uh, yeah, I feel like possibly heading uh, straight to Balmora could be a good idea because uh, when I saw it previously accelerating towards me at about 200 kilometers an hour, it looks pretty big, so uh, if there's anywhere nearby that's going to have a Mages Guild, uh, that's going to be my destination. So, uh, right, today uh, we're going to make it to Balmora. Or alternatively, I'm going to set off towards Balmora and then get distracted to buy like 17 other things en route and we never actually make it there. Place bets now, basically. Oh, and speaking of getting distracted, this is off to a great start, by the way. Do not forget, we never actually went into, uh, yes, Fort Plagiat, which is right bloody here. And there has been talk about, yes, the um, Imperial Cult. Not sure what an Imperial Cult is, by the way, because uh, I swear no one mentions it in Oblivion or Skyrim. So yeah, just speak to a random guard here. They're the Imperial Legion. Basically just the army of the Empire, because uh, at this point in history, Morrowind is under Imperial occupation. But yeah... Ask them about the Imperial Cult, and they tell you there's a shrine in Fort Plagiat, the eastern end of the main street. So the altar cures disease and poison, and Igfa, the healer, sells cure potions. So, uh, okay, no one's really, like, explaining uh, what the Imperial Cult is. Like, do we worship the Emperor? Because, uh, yes, if this is the same Emperor as is in Oblivion, then uh, that's Patrick Stewart, and uh, I can 100% see a cult dedicated to Patrick Stewart taking off. Like, that's completely fair. So, okay, just a mosey in this direction and make my way to, uh, yes, the fort itself, because a bare minimum sounds like, yeah, there might be, like, shops in here or something. Right, we've got ourselves a one orc here. Nothing too dramatic I've not seen before at the other armourer, but hang on, there was also uh, in here, Igfa. Now you, you might be more interesting, because yes, as a healer and whatnot, you might sell some stuff I don't see at regular stores. And on top of that, you're a spell tutor. And apparently, you handle joining the cult. So, uh, okay. I'm sorry for you and your misfortunes. Uh, maybe your attributes are greatly reduced by curse or disease. Uh, but in your case, I'm afraid we can't offer membership. Okay, um, just, just to confirm for a second here... My attributes are not lowered by curse or disease. At all. Like... Presumably. She's basically saying I don't meet the entry criteria for one of my attributes. And, uh, yes, given everything's pretty decent apart from uh, speed and then personality. Has she taken one look at me? 
and said, Oh, I assume you must be cursed or disease ridden. I'm sorry, you're too ugly to be allowed to join the Empire. Okay, if everyone could just be a bit nicer to me today, I would appreciate it actually. Okay, bare minimum, she can't bear to yes, buy and sell with me without running off screaming to vomit because of my hideous face, so... Okay, bare minimum, yeah, potions are actually pretty bloody cheap. I will take a restore fatigue potion because... Uh, in the middle of a fight, the ability to, you know, get my fatigue back in a hurry. That's actually pretty good. She's even selling a bargain restore health potions for only five. So, okay, I'm taking the lot right there. Though, I suspect, you know, they're not necessarily going to do that much. But, bare minimum, unlike, yeah, restoration, there's no casting time for potions. You can just drink them while you're on your menu. And two, they can't fail. So, it's probably worth, you know, having a few just in case. Oh, and here we go, the Imperial Cult Altar. So, even though I'm not a member, I can just, like, you know, make a donation and receive a blessing. So, uh, is the blessing just, like, getting rid of disease and whatnot? Because if so, I don't have that. But, if you're going to, like, buff me in some capacity, oh, go on, let's find out. So, uh, right, cure disease, uh, cure blight, cure poison, uh, restore attributes. I don't know what Blight is. Do I have Blight? Hopefully I don't have Blight. I'm just going to cure Blight just in case. You are not afflicted with Blight. Did I still give my money to the altar? I'm not sure. Oh, hang on. Speaking of which, there's... If I just, like, you know, get, get over here. Right, basically, I consider that perfectly fair and reasonable, alright? If you're going to look at me in the face and say, Oh my goodness, you must be diseased and or cursed, you're so horrendously ugly. I do not feel bad in the slightest about stealing back the money I literally just gave to your altar. So okay, back on the road and yes, by the looks of it, all we need to do now is a mosey out of the fort, straight back down to the road at the bottom, take a right and then continue following the signpost to Balmora. But it really should not be that far by the looks of it because it was not a long walk from yeah, where we started to Plagiad. And it's about the same distance again to get us over in that direction. And if anyone does come and confront me, do not forget, I've got my new Warhammer now. And it does look a lot more fancy. Like, that looks way nastier than my first one. That's gonna be fine. So, okay, just double check. There we go. Take a ride to follow this road uh, to Balmora. Brilliant. And I tell you what, while we're on the road too, do not forget to, yes, yeah, start trying to get to grips with uh, what the various different plants provide. Because this incredibly useful book I stole, uh, yes, tells me about how to make common potions. So, uh, Marshmallow, we've got loads of that. There was tons of it in that pond. So, uh, look for that in ponds. Uh, Wick wheat and salt rice, I feel like, yes, those are like crops. So, uh, keep an eye out in, uh, yeah, farms and whatnot. Cork bulb, meanwhile, uh, that grows best in the Ascadian Isles. I'm pretty sure that's the region I'm in right now. I just don't know what she has. Cork bulb looks like precisely. So, uh, okay. Just check everything, because that is uh, Conberry. Not what I'm looking for, to be honest. Still, coming up on, yes, another junction is here. Hang on, that might be the path that goes down towards uh, Vivek, if I had to guess. No, Pelagiad back road. So, uh, Pelagiad main road. Uh, okay, continue on this way uh, to Balmora. Keep an eye out for, yeah, like a side areas, a dungeon, just to see if uh, maybe, just maybe, uh, yeah, I was just a bit unlucky with those dungeons last week. Maybe I'm not horrendously terrible at this game. Maybe I was just, you know, a unfortunate and whatnot, and uh, you are brilliant, cork bowl. That is precisely uh, what I wanted to see. So, right, now I know uh, what you look like, and... Uh... Okay. Speaking of which... Have a bit of a look-see. What's going on up here, precisely? Rest an hour, because you want to get your stamina back before you go inside anywhere. And then, yes, yeah, set a fireball, set your lovely giant hammer. I feel like, yes, we should hopefully be a okay. So, uh, right. Here we go. Have a bit of a look see round -y. See what we've got in here. I feel, hang on. I see you. So, okay, get out my thing. 
charge up an attack and go and no seriously there we oh oh yeah oh flipping yeah that's good that's good right there just one more any attack will do and okay i thought that was going to be enough to kill him in one hit but you've got a name do all bandits have a name like i know everyone in town's got a name but i never actually paid much attention as to whether like all the bandits and slavers i've been killing so far had a name they may or may not have names, so right, maybe I'm not terrible at Morrowind. Maybe I just got unlucky. So okay, pick that up quickly. Then go over to, yes, my healing spell. I'm so happy I took Restoration. Restoration is just so, so good. So uh, there we go, back up to full health without having to, you know, do potions and whatnot. Bare minimum, that was a good pick, though. Uh, okay, just... Be ready for more, because that might have just been one, okay? Sometimes the one at the front door is not so bad. There could be much worse to follow. Right, loop around. and oh, hang on. I see someone who's got his back to me. Could I maybe sneak up behind him? Probably not because my sneaking is terrible. But, like, just wait for him to turn around. Maybe. I could get a sneak attack. That would be lovely. Then again, actually, you know what, John? Possibly the better thing to do would just be, uh, yeah, fire some, like, you know, spells at him. That way you could get some damage in before, you know, he could do anything in return. So, right, fireball and... So that just hit the ground. Just, just seriously, fireball and... That's flame at hand or firebite, isn't it? Right, that one's fireball. That one's fireball. So there we go. A bit more fire there and... Go and then stand up and get out my thing and oh, I think we've got the same weapon. I think we've got precisely the same weapon. And, uh oh. Okay, so yeah, he was um he was nastier. Okay, in theory, if I berserk crush him, maybe just maybe I can knock him down before he can like you know kill me. That or I could you know use those potions I just bought. Like because he's using a big hammer, he's going to be attacking slowly. So. Uh, Oh, I think I could do this. Also, I can't use Berserk because, right, it's been 24 hours or less since I last used it. So, good. Good, 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 good. That's, uh, that's positive. So, uh, right. Getting over here. Don't bother sneaking or anything. Just get to here. Toss two firebolts at him. There we go. Get out my thing. And then charge up an attack. And then... Wait, what? Well, he's dead, which is good. Also, his name was God Rod Hairy Breaks. Okay, once again, I feel like when I'm standing next to a God Rod Hairy Breaks, I am not the protagonist at that point. He is the protagonist. I am just here to, like, you know, offer him simple rewards for fetch quests. Okay, I feel like what we should learn from that is, uh, yes, if I can hit people with my giant steel warhammer, it does a load of damage. It's just important I hit them before they hit me, so... Uh, Right, I can't afford to, like, you know, take another Warhammer. Those are a bit too on the, uh, heavy side. But, the Belt of Northern Nuck Nuck weighs one, cast when used, so... Right! Was that what you were trying to do to me? Why you didn't immediately attack me with the hammer the second time? You were trying to, yes, cast a spell, but I just whacked you with my whacking stick before you did, so... Right! If I wear that belt, and I'm pretty sure I'm not wearing a belt right now, because seriously, there are so, so many bloody apparel slots in this game, it's brilliant. I have access to a new spell. Wait, hang on. Ha <laughs> ha, hang on. Cost charge. So does that mean to, wait, to use it, that it's a one-use only thing, but like would recharge over time? Hang on, I'm gonna like drop a save and then see if I can figure this out. So right, set that's an active spell, there's, uh, yep, no one else in here, it was just those two on this occasion, good. Uh, so if I do that, presumably right, so 10 is like the charge cost and, oh, John, you read these differently. Right, so that's cost versus chance, this is literally the charge is X out of Y, gotcha. But it does appear that yes, enchanted items are... Uh, do actually recover their charge over time. So we don't need to worry too much about that. And uh, yeah. The nice thing we've also got is. Uh, that could really knacker someone's fatigue. Now. Uh, 
if someone is out of fatigue, like, you know, if I make my enemies be out of fatigue, given everybody has to play by the same rules, yeah, that just makes my enemies way worse at, like, everything. If I'm fighting a tough foe, hitting them with that belt's ability basically means uh, thereafter, I'm going to be way better at dodging their attacks because uh, you're way worse at hitting if you're out of fatigue. So, uh, okay, that could actually have been really bloody useful, actually. Though, unfortunately, yes, their chest was locked up and there's nothing I could do about that for the time being. If we get lucky, maybe... Okay, hang on. A scroll of... Oh! I may not be able to be good at lockpicking, but a combination of uh, scrolls and maybe... Which sort of magic? Presumably alteration magic might mean I could just bypass locks. They've also got, yeah, some decent potions here. So restoring personality, swift as swimming, and some uh, sujama, which I think is another type of alcohol. So uh, generally those mean, yeah, lots of strength, but you lose your magical abilities. So, uh, right. Magic away, don't be worrying about that for the time being. And yeah, I think we will uh, hold off for using that scroll uh, until I find something a bit more interesting uh, to crack open than just, yeah, that tiny worn chest inside this cave. So, uh, right, bare minimum, I have successfully killed some bandits and taken their cave over. Good, 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 good. Though I did just pick up, yeah, some more skill gains during that fight. So, uh, right, I'm now halfway to level two. And that means I should start, yeah, thinking about planning out this level a bit, because, uh, right, just in case you're like, you know, not familiar with it, best as I could tell, leveling in this game works in a very similar fashion to Oblivion. So uh, every time, yes, I level up these 10 abilities, a major or minor, that adds one to that counter out of 10. When it fills up, I level up. So uh, leveling up all these miscellaneous skills down bottom, that does not lead me to level up. I'll get better at those skills, uh, but I won't be moving towards the next level. When I do level up, I get to pick three of those stats to improve. Depending on, yes, how many numbers are against them, I can raise them more or less. So right now, I can barely increase my intelligence at all. Speed, however, I can increase quite a bit. Each of these stats being a function of the associated skills over on the right. So a simple example would be, yes, athletics is now 11. I'm pretty sure that started at 5, and athletics just comes in pretty fast because you are gaining it just by virtue of moving around. So that's gone up by 6 all by itself. As a result of that, I've got lots of level ups in a speed associated skill. And on top of that, yeah, strength is looking a pretty good too. That's mainly going to be my blunt weapons going up as I beat people to death. So, uh, okay. The next question is, uh, what do I want to start moving towards? Because uh, personality would not hurt. Like, I feel like my personality right now is uh, dangerously too low. Like, to the extent people are looking at me and saying, my goodness, do you have a facial disease of some description? Yeah. That might not hurt. Agility would be good too, actually. And endurance is never going to be a bad thing. I know endurance is, you know, pretty bad right now. But endurance is uh, both my armor skills. And hang on. Is block going to be endurance? No, block is agility, interestingly. So, uh, okay. If I wanted my agility to go up, and I feel like that wouldn't be a bad thing at all... Okay, agility is uh, very much tied to, uh, yeah, light armor, sneaking, etc, etc. That's not really what I'm good at, to be honest. So, uh, okay. Agility is actually going to be pretty difficult to raise up because that's uh, very much aligned to uh, sneaky roguelike characters. Okay, I'm going to say yes. Yeah, strength and speed are going to be uh, ones we take at the next level. But I would like to make progress towards endurance. So, uh, Okay. Endurance is just the armor that I'm wearing. If I literally just take hits, that will start moving in the right direction. And on top of that, hang on, hang on, hang on. The spear that I just took because, you know, spears are cool. And that's not a weapon class that appears in any other Elder Scrolls game. But yeah, that would appear to be associated with... Uh, endurance, which basically no other weapon seems to be. Like, everything else is uh, strength or agility if it's a more, like, you know, dexterity-based weapon. So, uh, right, that could be interesting. 
Get out, yes, my new little halberd thingy. Give that a good uh, thrust to a few enemies. Don't do anything else, though, because, yes, it's kind of useless to time uh, everything but the thrust attack. So, uh, yeah, be moving backwards, uh, be moving forwards, etc., etc., though. Uh, okay, if I'm moving backwards, then I start charging the thrust. It still remains a thrust. Okay, I've just got to be moving back when I start holding the button. Though, honestly, uh, the charge time does not feel that bad at all. Though, okay. Just kind of, yeah, push into enemies. Just keep pushing into them. That feels like that charges up to maximum. Really quick, actually. And then beyond that, yeah, just keep my heal spell set. So, uh, right. I actually want to pick some fights and take a bit of damage. Because, uh, yeah, taking damage is how I get my armor skill up. So, right. We need to go and find, like, you know, uh, something that wants to mess with me today. So, uh, down the road, uh, sooner or later, there's got to be, like, you know, uh, some trouble. Uh, and keep an eye out for, yeah, that weird rooty thing. There's one over there. But, yeah, I feel like that could be uh, very useful indeed. So, okay, we're up to another little crossroads here. Hello there. Do you maybe want to fight? Because if so, there's one more cork bulb. Beautiful. Hang on, this is uh, Vivek and Pelagiad in that direction. Balmora here. So, okay. Why is there literally nothing in this direction? Okay, John. Don't go down the road that's not signed to anything. Like, you tried doing that previously, and it went wrong for you. Okay, learn your lesson until you're, like, at least level two. Maybe, just maybe, stick to the road and follow the plan. Go to Balmora, join the Mages Guild, learn some better bloody magic. Though, okay. Speaking of which, or rather, like, you know, making sure I get there safely. Check the book. Hang on, it was... Yes, Marshmallow and cork bulb. that makes health healing potions. That could potentially be of use. Though Marshmallow were just a swimming in right now, so... Right? I just created a potion and everything. I'm getting better at this, I think. Okay, madam, would you by any chance like to fight? Because, uh, to be honest, I do just want, you know, an excuse to try out my new weapon and whatnot, so... Uh, May I help you? Okay. She's sounding chill so far, at least. Hello there, Mori. So, begging your pardon, have you seen a bandit nearby? Okay. I was just walking along here, minding my own business, when suddenly a bandit jumped at me from behind. He was a dark elf, strong and dashing. He didn't harm me in any way, though he did take my jewels. He was quite gentle and talked to me for what seemed like forever. So, uh... What's that? Never mind the jewels, I just want to find the bandit again. He was charming and funny, and I simply must see him. His name? Nelos. Nelos Onmar. A name that will stay on my lips for eternity. Maybe you can find him for me. Please, I cannot live without knowing if he could ever love me. I have nothing to offer you in return, but could you not help me for the sake of love? I'm modestly confident I know that name. I swear, one of the people... In the bar at, um, yes, Pelagiad, uh, was named that. Okay, you know what? Sure, why not? Thank you so much. I'm sure you'll be able to find him. He mentioned something about having to head north, so I imagine he might be found in Pelagiad. Please, if you find him, give him this glove for me as a token of my love. I'm sure he will want to find me again, and... Uh, Okay, there may be something a bit wrong with this lady we've just run into, but I'm sure it'll all work out. It's fine. Also, she just said north. Plagiard is definitely south, so... Uh, oh, bloody hell. Does Morrowind have the combination of... Uh, yes, you're given directions you need to follow, but also sometimes the directions are wrong. Because if so... Uh, oh, that's gonna be good. Okay, I'm gonna hand back to Pelagiad over open ground because, yeah, what I'm trying to find is uh, creatures who want to attack me because I thought I just saw something over here. So stab and then keep stabbing and... Okay, this might be a bit difficult to uh, get because I'm not very good at, with this weapon type yet. But yeah, there we... Oh, lovely. Right there. So just keep on keeping on. Just there we go. And no, not like that. Not like that. Step back. Honestly, if he just keeps attacking me... It's kind of fine, actually. I'm happy to just do the standard chopping. I don't need to be doing, like, you know, the lunges. I assume any attack will do as long as it's successful. So, yes, because I'm not so good with this weapon, it's going to take a bit of time to, uh, to get right. And basically, we're not really doing anything to each other, are we? That's fine. Honestly, if he just wants to keep fighting me, that's good for my armor stat. So, it's fine. 
Okay, he's dead. Uh, how much does that just, like, you know, do for my spear? I mean, that's 18. That's my first ever fight with a spear. I'm already 20% of the way to leveling that up a bit. That is a-okay. And don't forget, of course, that's just an opportunity for me to... John, don't cast magic when your fatigue isn't full. Wait for your fatigue to be full before you do that. Though, uh... Okay. No more creatures that I'm seeing, but... There's water here. Like a pretty bloody big lake, actually. And a big lake, presumably, means crabs. And crabs means crab meat. So, right, this is all going to work out beautifully. I mean, I will say, I quite like the fact that, you know, with the way this weapon works, you could just, yeah, back away, charge, then stab. Back away, charge, stab. You've got good long reach with this, actually. This could be interesting. Like, you know, I kind of like using this. Right, crab friends, are sorry about this, by the way, but yeah, back away, stab, back away, stab. If I can, like, outreach them, they can't actually attack me till they get a bit closer. So, if I can just get, like, you know, a bit better at uh, hitting them and whatnot, this could potentially work. But yeah, what I've learned here is a marshmallow is, like, the most common thing in the world. So, uh, all I've got to do, uh, really, is, uh, yeah, find a source for, oh, yeah. This thing is just annihilating crabs. Lovely. I just need to find, like, yeah, a different alternative source for the second ingredient for... What is it that you... Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I see something underwater down there. Oh, there's... Nope, 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 nope. Slaughterfish, slaughterfish. Screw that noise. Screw that noise. Get out of the water. Whatever it is, it's not worth it. Yeah, with marshmallow so common, I just need to find a farm full of uh, one of these two crops and we are going to be golden. Speaking of which, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Have you got a tiny, what is it, cork roots plantation over there, buddy? This will flip it do. Uh, screw your garden, uh, screw your crop. I'm so sorry about this. Um, Hang on. Junau. I did not mean to... Uh, why is Thieves Guild a topic for you, my friend? The Thieves Guild doesn't have public guild halls, but they do like to gather at a single location. Usually a corner club or trade house in large towns. So, uh, okay. Look for guild operatives in Balmora, Aldrun, Sadrich Mora, and the foreign quarter of Vivek. So, uh, right. Maybe, yes, the ones in Pelagia won't speak to me until I, like, join the society in some capacity. So, uh, Right, Balmora once again, good location to go visit. And once again, we just start making a handful of uh, potions here. And I even get my alchemy to 11. Okay, so um, it's a lot harder to raise alchemy in Morrowind than it is in Oblivion. My sandwich empire is not going to be so easy to create. Right, back to Pelagiad here, because yes, I swear I saw someone of that name while I was just, you know, asking around for traders here in the halfway tavern. So, you, I swear that was you. So hang on, hang on, hang on. Nelos on Ma, I knew I recognised that name. So, right, um, I've got a lady's glove for you. How do you, um, feel about that? How odd, she was a lovely young woman, but what would she want with a rogue like me? She is beautiful though, and seems sweet. For the first time in my life, I actually felt remorse for robbing someone. I should see her again. Here, take this. Tell her you have a note from Nelos. I must see her again. I won't forget this friend, so... Right, so those two are just going to get together now. That's nice. Also, I just noticed this entire time. I've not been wearing shoes. Because, yes, I took my shoes off to sell, then I changed my mind, but I never put them on again. So, right, while I'm, like, you know, passing through town and whatnot, I do have a, yeah, like, you know, new weapons to sell that I picked up from that cave I was just in. Meaning I could just afford some, yeah, some medium armor boots. Brilliant. I say brilliant. Like, you know, it's nice to be wearing boots again, but... Seriously, John, you're kind of out of, um, storage capacity. What's the problem here is that I'm carrying, like, way too much booze and way too many... Oh, it's probably the, um... Actually, you know what? Those... Oh, blimey, those weigh 0 0.5 each. Right, I can see how that would be a problem. Yes, hang on, what do ash yams do? 
Seriously, I love this book. This is just my favorite book. I love that in this game, I've stolen a book about alchemy, and I'm regularly referring to it to make me better at alchemy. Blend that with a type of uh, wax. Hang on. Tough waxy substance, great from... Right, powerful aquatic creatures. I feel like I'm not ready to go hunting for powerful aquatic creatures. Let's just dump the ash jams. They're taking up, you know, valuable inventory space. Okay, 20 odd spare capacity. That's gonna have to do. Right, I may as well have a nap while I'm passing by town because, yeah, magic is a little bit slow to come back by itself. So, uh, okay, on we flip it go. Oh, though, by the looks of it, right, we might have um, slightly worse weather today. Dear oh, flip it, dear. Okay, so visibility is going to be a fair whack worse. He gave you a letter to give to me. Wonderful. Thank you, so. I knew that he cared. You know what? You didn't have to do all this for me, and I really appreciate it. You're clearly a wonderful person. You should visit my friend Bernard Errolly in Telbranora. He's a wonderful person. I think the two of you would get along famously, so... Uh... Right. I've just been like, you know, uh, told to go and uh, hang out with someone. The question is, where's Telbranora? Oh, you know what? We'll get back to that in a second. I see another worm I can poke with a stick. All right, buddy. No trouble. And stab, and then back away, and then stab, and then... Okay. This is actually working, you know, pretty well. The fact you can just, yeah, back away while stabbing and thrusting. I really quite like this weapon type. John... When you said you were going to start using the spear, part of the reason was uh, you want to, like, you know, have enemies attacking you so that you could be boosting up your medium and heavy armor. And then you invented a tactic that means you don't get hit. Which, like, you know, I agree, is a good thing, in a way, but also means, you know, you're not getting hit, so... Okay, kind of forgot the entire point of the exercise there for a second. So, uh... Well, oh, this is concerning. Hang on. Uh, hang on, there's... Right, multiple ways to go, but this time, no. No, 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 well then again. Okay, I'm going to see how tough the enemies are inside, because uh, in theory, this might be a really good way of just, you know, boosting up my armour, unless they're too tough, in which case I'm just going to die. Just be ready for trouble, because... Okay, a Warner Cavern door. Trap. Trapped how precisely? Okay, I'm just going to open this, then back away. And oh, oh. Right. It wasn't like, you know, spikes or anything. It was literally a trap enchantment. Though so the question is, hang on, I swear I just saw, like, movement behind this and... Oh, this is, this is awkward. No. No, no. Excuse me. You know what? He's not doing much damage to me. This is good. I'd like you to just... You're called a Nyx Hound. Right, are you like a dog? But, like, you know... In Morrowind or something. Possibly you are. I'm very bad at hitting this thing right now. Just by the fact I've got, you know, pretty decent, um, you know, fatigue at the minute. I'm just not very good with this weapon. But then again, he seems to be kind of stuck in the door. So honestly, I'm happy to just, you know, let him hit me for a bit. This is kind of going to be fine, actually. You just keep hitting me. I'll just keep hitting you too. I actually kind of want him to hit me right now. Like, seriously, I'm presumably slowly building up my uh, medium armor. Oh yeah, they're at 85. Right, as soon as mouth starts getting low, I can just, like, you know, do some healing and whatnot. It's kind of embarrassing how I can't hit this guy, but yes, right now my spear skill is, um, not, not great. Right, go a bit to healing, do a bit of that, there we go, I've now got my healing and health back, lovely. Keep hitting him, and okay, my, my unarmored skill's actually going up as it turns out. Wait, what's an armored tied to? Speed, as it turns out. I'm gonna be honest, we didn't need speed. Speed was fine. There we go. A heavy armor goes up to 16. If I just, like, walk into him but can't get past him, I can just do the thrust over and over. And, oh, blimey. That was more damage than I was expecting to do to him, to be honest. And also, apparently you didn't hear your dog and me having that fight this entire time. So, okay, hang on. Ha <laughs> ha, hang on. Just back away. Do a bit more healing. Go into crouch mode. Get out my stabbing stick. And now, we sneak up on you. And... Actually, there's a door there. That... Oh, never mind. You've realized I'm here. Okay. Oh, hang on. What the... What the cock is going on with you right now? 
She just sort of went all electrical. I'm not sure what's going on there. Also, oh, you're you're much tougher than. Okay, my medium armor has gone up to 16. That's that's what I wanted actually. And I think it's time to. Okay, it's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. Right, keep following what's in fact yes the only road because uh, yeah the other one was just diverting to that cave. Uh, bandits. They have a lot of bases along this road apparently. So uh, okay, eyes open because I still need uh, to get my spear up. And oh blimey. Exciting, sexy, glowy rocks there. Like that. Beautiful. Okay. Just a mosey in the right direction. Her visibility right now is, yes, relatively poor. Athletics also moving in the right direction. So, uh, okay. Speed is um not going to be difficult to raise when we level up. We've got it. Okay. Well, thank goodness we've gone to, yeah, more signs here. So, uh, hang on. That's going to... Uh, Suran are going in that direction to the... East. No one's told me about Suran yet. So yeah, that's not really on my uh, map at all. Play jam back the way I came. Ghost Gate and Balmora. Not sure I like the sound of Ghost Gate, especially in this weather. Then Mount Cand and Molagmar up the hill. Okay, again, that sounds a bit on the nasty side. Uh, let's go towards Balmora and also Ghost Gate. Ghost Gate does sound creepy. I also do appreciate that, how the game, you know, had a flash of lightning immediately after I said Ghost Gate. Like it was reacting very dramatically. I appreciate that. So, uh, okay. Mosey in this direction, though, uh, oh dear. Yeah, that whole, you know, uh, grey rock, dead trees, etc, uh, etc et thing. So, uh, okay. Tiny little thing on the road. Uh, Charge up my attack and no. Charge up the attack properly. Go for a stab and no. No. No, no, no. And you just tried to do something, didn't you? So, okay, there we go. Literally just poked his head off. Right, that's adorable. Help myself to some scrib jelly. So, right, scribs. They're like, you know, small ants. I say small ants. Pretty big by ant standards. But I do not appreciate this, um, yeah, big old. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I know precisely where I am. Here we go. The road passes Playjad Village and uh, Fort Playjad. Done that. Then it crosses a, a deep ravine. That's where I'll be going right now. So, right. I need to go uh, through this ravine. I'm in at this exact moment in time. That'll be the ravine. So, uh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. And excuse me. You get a bit of a poke, my friend. Just keep on poking. There we go. No, no, no. And... Oh, excuse me, don't you flip in on that again, actually. John, you want them to attack you. So, okay, for the time being, yeah, just get out my... Hang on, <laughs> hang on, no, 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 no. Get out my shield. I can actually practice my shielding and my blocking and basically just let this rat bite me. John, there's diseases in this game. Though, uh, this rat is actually, you know, hitting my shield quite a lot. Like, my shield is doing a lot for me right now. This is... Okay, possibly I should be, like, you know, trying to use uh, 100 weapons uh, way more often because uh, I swear, when this rat is not missing, he's hitting my shield, like, two-thirds of the time. That's really good. So, okay, put the shield away. Don't actually want the shield, as it turns out. Just get out my thing. You just keep trying to bite me, buddy. That's all absolutely fine. And there we go. A quick tap to him, and my spear skill goes up too. Beautiful. So we're already up from, yes, Endurance 0 to Endurance 3. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, stay on target here. Don't loop all the way back round to, uh, yes, where you started. Uh, Balmora. Going in this direction. Get out my spear, which I am uh, slowly but surely going to get a little bit better with. Uh, beautiful. So, uh, okay. This will be the ravine. Is this the point where I turn out of the ravine? Or... Okay, that's a Nyx Hound. Uh, we saw one of you a second ago. You're not so bad. Uh, Balmora in that direction. Uh, ghost Gate over here. So, uh, right. That Ghost Gate up there. Because I can definitely see something uh, on the top of that hill. So, uh, hello over there. No trouble, buddy. No trouble. And stab. Uh, and just keep stabbing. Actually, don't do, like, you know, proper stabs. Just keep letting him hit you. To be honest, this is fine. Like, you know, just let him build up your armor. You need the endurance, John. You need practice being, you know, hit by a weird bug dog creature. Also, yeah, let's just double check that whole shield thing. Like, yeah, there's a block. Comes in. There's... No, seriously, I'm doing a lot of blocking here. 
Okay, I may possibly have been, you know, not doing the right thing when I've just been going over to my 200 weapon purely because a big number is better. Like, the amount of blocking I'm doing is slightly silly, actually. At this point, right, I've kind of eaten all my magic going up. That's light armor. That's the one armor I don't want to be going up, but yes... I've eaten all my magic healing, so at this point, yes, need to um go over to a blunt weapon I'm good with and finish this guy off in a second. But I would like to, you know, just get a tiny bit better at being punched in the face before we do that. There we go. There's heavy armor up to a 17. Lovely. There's a medium armor too. So right, at this point, just go over to my hammer. And yes, we should be able to hit you somewhat reliably. And there we go. Thank you for your assistance, Mr. Nixhound. Right, keep on keeping on. This was the way the sign just said to get to Balmora, though I swear the instructions said, uh, yes, we're going to pass one of fort before we get there. So uh, this will be another, you know, uh, Imperial McChibble. Uh, honestly, I don't really want to go inside. They were mean to me at the Imperial Fort. They took one look at my face and started apologizing. Still, may as well mosey inside and check the shop, just in case there's like, you know, anything particularly interesting going on. Okay, here's weird. Despite this being like, you know, a, a small outpost that feels way more modest than the one we ran into previously, this place is practically a bloody marketplace. There's like five different traders here. And okay, good chance to, yes, trade out my Iron McJibble for its next step up, the Steel Halberd variant. Good, 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 good. Oh, but here's no... Right, there's a guy here who's willing to, like, you know, barter, but clearly he's more, you know, magic-y focused. And he offers enchanting. So, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. He's willing to, uh, yes, like, conduct a magic effect. I can modify uh, duration, area, etc, etc. So let's just say, you know, 5 to 10, sure. Then I can give him a yes, a weapon of my choosing. I also have to, uh, okay. Provide the soul by the Luxy of it. And oh, blimey. 2,000. Okay, I'm so sorry. I can't afford this yet, as it turns out. Even one damage is a grand. Okay, right. Don't even worry about enchanting just yet. And one more that's interesting, too. This guy not only sells spells, which I can definitely not afford, though I should come back for this, actually. Fortifying agility, 10 points for 60 seconds. That's actually, you know, uh, pretty bloody good. Oh, there's a lot here that's good, actually. Right. This is all about uh, fortification. And that there, that could be uh, very useful, in fact. But he also offers uh, spell making, though, uh, right. I can only, like, you know, enchant or create spells uh, that have got the effects of spells uh, I already know. I'm not, like, borrowing his spells. Uh, I've got to use my own. That, at least, is a bit more on the reasonable side uh, when it comes to uh, pricing. It's just enchanting that's a complete rip-off. Gotcha. They're right now I'm basically broke. So, uh, we can't do this at the minute. And, okay, also, as it gets more powerful, uh, spell chance to succeed goes down in the top right there. Because, uh, yeah, I'm not good enough to cast a spell that strong. Okay, good to know. And also... Uh, Stay out of trouble and you won't get hurt. I was just looking at the gold and immediately he talks about, yes, not causing trouble and I won't get hurt. It's a lot of gold. I won't deny, but... You know what? Don't cause trouble with the Imperial cult. It's fine. Just come back later with some money. These guys have got good stuff. Right, out we go. Based on what I saw a second ago, yes, we should be almost there. Like, yeah, the sign should be pointing me towards... Uh, hang about, hang about, hang about. Yep, keep on keeping on towards Balmora and Caldera beyond it. So uh, that's been on the sign so much. I suspect we're going to be, you know, uh, going there after we're done with Balmora for whatever reason. So, uh, okay. Get the old uh, spear out. Not bloody yes, hand to hand. Hand to hand is not what we want. Especially given... Uh, oh, that looks much better. I am uh, so much happier about that. And chokeweed! I swear I wanted a chokeweed for something. Ah, yes, I can blend that with a crab meat for restore fatigue. That's good. That's actually pretty good. So, uh, right, keep your eyes open for that. Mosey along here and... Uh, 
Okay, this game is just really pretty sometimes. I'm having a lovely time just, you know, slowly ambling around the environment, making my way from town to town. This has been a lovely adventure for me so far. But yeah, keep an eye open for all those weird tall trees right here. Uh, hang on, just get over to you. That's chokeweed as well. A beautiful and... Uh, I suspect, hang on, I recognise those towers. Because, you know, last time I saw them, uh, I was uh, very rapidly flying towards them. But, as the sun sets, I think we've flipping made it. So, uh, right, if you put money on me getting to Balmora in episode one or episode three... I'd say you probably win in either case because uh, you could definitely argue uh, I did either. And in theory, had I, like, you know, landed in the river, presumably I would have, like, you know, survived uh, the first attempt. So uh, let's just say it was kind of both. There's even a tiny welcome sign up. That I appreciate. And, uh, okay, I could definitely do it like, you know, a hotel or something because uh, I am looking a bit on the battered side at the moment. So, uh, okay. Where am I? Uh, what's where? And it's like, you know, find guards or something. Or actually, you know what? Not guards. Like, anyone will do. Uh, they'll be able to, like, you know, give me the basics as to uh, what's going on in town. Because by the looks of it, we got ourselves... Uh, yeah, there's an armorer right there. And Major's Guild. Spot on. And would that be the Fighter's Guild? Bunny Chansey is the Fighter's Guild. Right. We found the Cocky Guild. And also, uh, I like your well, armor. Nice. It's kind of like, you know, fancy power armor. It's brilliant. So, Balmora is the council seat of the Great House Lalu, uh, and the largest town on Vardenfell, uh, except for Vivek. So, uh, right, this is going to be probably a pretty major city for us uh, for quite some time. Uh, located on the Odai River, sitting astride the old run of Vivek Road, uh, Balmora is an important trade and travel center. Hightown is the administration centre, with the temple and manor houses, uh, the shops, uh, guilds and trade houses of the commercial district, and north of the river. Labour Town's modest corner clubs and homes are uh, uh, south. So, uh, right. The north side of the river sounds like, yeah, the fancy bit of town. Uh, however, corner club. Someone said corner club to me, in terms of uh, where I was supposed to be going next. So, uh, right, dodgy stuff might happen south of the river. And meanwhile, okay, the house Hlalu he just mentioned. Uh, if you want to join my house, uh, speak with Nalino uh, at the Hlalu Council Manor. So, uh, right, more factions to potentially investigate. Gotcha. Okay, and someone in particular is also uh, very interesting, because, yeah, these tell you uh, who to look for in particular. So, uh, okay, the councillor he mentioned uh, for the local, like, Dunmer house or whatnot. At the Fighters Guild, there's a steward. Uh, then... Uh, the Morad Tong stewards. Morag Tong. Is that like the Dark Brotherhood, but in Morrowind? I swear this showed up at some point during either Oblivion or Skyrim, but I cannot remember. So, uh, yeah. Then there's the Tribunal Temple. Uh, don't know what that is. Uh, then... Right. You just know who the local Thieves Guild boss is. And it's Sugarlips Habase. Okay, fascinating name there. And the Mages Guild, who for some reason to you, uh, was an afterthought. Okay, so by the Luke Sievich, yeah. That side of the river is uh, slightly more south. Though, uh, honestly, I'd divide the town into, like, east and west, not north and south. But, yeah. Just based on the fact that, hang on, if we go over here. Yeah, the fancy buildings are this side. So, yeah, basically everything I'm going to be needing in terms of day-to-day -day shopping, guilds, everything is in the nice bit of town. The only exception being, yeah, presumably there's going to be some dodgy stuff going on down south. Here we go. I need to find Caius Cosades. He is at the corner club called Southwall. So, okay. The thing is, yeah, the original guy didn't know where aforementioned thing was. Though, presumably... I know the corner clubs are on this side of town. I mean... There's something here, a fairly tall building, next to the south wall. So, logically, this would be what I was looking for, right? And, hang about, hang about, hang about, this is... No, that's just somebody's house, never mind. Like, it was a good guess, John, though, oh, hang on. 
There is a sign right here. Southwall Corner Club! Right! I was actually pretty bloody close. So, uh... Oh, and there's one of those lizards that attacked me on the road. I say attacked me. I kind of attacked it first. So, uh... Right. Step inside. We're looking for... Hang on. Uh, Caius Cosades, right? So, uh... Okay, you are Bacola Kloskius. You're not who we're after. You're Imperial, but not the right Imperial. Oh, and literally on the steps going down to the bar, there's a Sugarlip Sabasi literally sitting right next to a book called Honor Among Thieves. Okay, so the Thieves Guild just operates openly in the city. The guards know about it and don't even care. So uh, that's an interesting dynamic we should, uh, yes, dig into uh, as time goes by. And uh, only he stands there. I love your name. You're great, buddy. And okay, as usual, uh, the trainers uh, can be located in... None of the trainers are willing to train me. Because, you know, they all just hate me too much. What I need to do is create a fortify personality spell. Like, literally a spell to trick people into thinking I'm less of an ugly, horrible person than I actually am. Okay, bare minimum, he is willing to, you know, answer questions about Caius Cosades. And, uh, okay, he may appear to be a pathetic old man. Don't judge by appearances. Some people made that mistake a while ago, and they're not with us anymore. So, uh... Right, he might be, you know, a potentially a sharp cookie who's a bit on the dangerous side. As for the barkeeper, right, he doesn't know where he's living, but apparently, yes, Bacola Kloskius upstairs, the owner, he'll know. Oh, and better and better, this guy is willing to train me in alchemy and speechcraft. I would not mind either. Though, uh, okay, we can't afford it just yet. We need to, like, you know, get some money. But remember, you're here. I you, sir, so. you are useful. You, sir, need to locate, yes, our good friend, uh, Caius Cosades. So, uh, he rents a bed and basket just up the hill on the north edge of town. Go at the front door, not the upper door to the terrace, then right up the stairs. Then left at the top of the stairs, uh, uh, down to the end of the street. Wait, hang on. Out the thing, right up the stairs, and uh, left. Oh, okay, I think I know what you mean. So, okay, out the front door, up the steps here, then uh, take a left and go to the end. So, uh... Possibly that door there, I'm not sure. There we go, Caius Kosanti, spot on. So, in we flippy go, and... Uh, right. He's just decided to, you know, pull the power move of uh, showing up without a shirt on, and... Uh, I'll give you, he's got um Let's a lot of muscles on. going on, uh, very true. Uh, lovely to meet you, my friend. So, uh, okay. I'm Caius Kosades. Uh, what do you mean you were told to report to me? Uh, what are you talking about? So, uh, I've got like this letter or package or something. Uh, you say your name is Aria, and you've been told to report to me, uh, deliver a package. Here you go, my friend. Uh, very interesting. Says here the Emperor wants me to make you a novice in the blades. And that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders, uh, Aria Groshergak? And, uh, sure! Why not? By any chance does, like, the blades pay? Because I, like, really need money. Welcome to the service, a novice Arya Groshergak. Now you belong to the blades. We're the Emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces. You can use my bed if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with our blade trainers. Or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the blade trainers and... Uh, who are those guys? And, okay, when you say uh, they can improve my skills, uh, you mean uh, I've got to bloody pay for it, obviously. So, uh, right. Alone, I know her. I ran into her previously. I think she hates me. I tried to flirt with her. It didn't go very well. For the time being, buddy, uh, yes, the orders. So, uh, 200 gold. Perfect. First thing, Pilgrim, you're new. And you look it. Here's 200 drakes. Get yourself a decent weapon or armor or a spell. I mean, I'm good to be honest, Kai, so I kind of felt like I was doing okay in that regard. Like, okay, I'm terrible in all sorts of ways, but I thought my loadout wasn't bad, so... Uh, everyone's being so mean to me today. So, okay. I need a cover identity. So, uh, round here, freelance adventurer is a common profession. Sign on with the Fighters Guild or the Majors Guild, uh, the Imperial Cult. I tried! They wouldn't have me! I'm too cocking ugly! Or the Imperial Legion. Which is apparently, uh, yeah, like... Different. From the Imperial Cult. I'm not sure how to join the Imperial Legion. Here we go. Only one fort accepts recruits. Fort Darius in Genesis. So, uh, 
Right, Frontier Outpost, isolated, uh, a bit rough, a bit good experience. So, uh, basically I think what he's saying is, uh, go and level up a bit, right now you suck too much. So, uh, I'm guessing, yeah, his missions are gated uh, behind uh, level. And that's fine, because uh, the Mage's Guild uh, is 100% where I want to be going. And as for the Blades, right, at this point in history, in this bit of Tamriel, uh, they're basically sort of... Uh, spies by the sounds of it so uh, watching the emperor's enemies uh, and also looking out for opportunities so uh, okay maybe yes what he's basically wanting me to do uh, is infiltrate the local guilds uh, so that you know uh, in future he can use my position to his advantage and as for yes the other faction i was a bit unfamiliar with the tribunal temple uh, right i can speak to uh, hang on Someone at Balmora Temple, if I'm thinking of joining up. So, uh, okay. Basically, he's now telling me, go do what you feel like. You want to be a fighter? Be a fighter. Want to be a mage? Be a mage. Just go out, get stronger, come back when I've leveled up a bit. Gotcha. Well, I'm already most of the way to level two. Possibly he'll be willing to chat to me when I get there. And uh, in the meantime, I think I know what I need to do next. There we go. The Mage's Guild. That's where I want to go, because yes, I need, uh, you know, uh, better spells, uh, trainers, uh, any opportunity to, yeah, get better at magic would be absolutely spot on. So uh, how about we call it apart there and pick up with the Major Skill next time, because, uh, yeah, I feel like at this point, that is going to be an excellent way to get my magic moving very much in the right flipping direction. So hopefully you join me next time for that. But in the meantime... I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been Morrowind. Thank you very much, and goodbye. So okay, um, I've been outwitted by a butterfly, and beaten up by a fish. Stop right there, criminal scum! I didn't steal anything! I'm sorry, I touched the shoes while I was shoe shopping! Okay, I feel like I may have just, um, walked in on something. What about this person? Can we torture this person?